Hey Taurus, welcome to June 2020. If there's a project you've not completed, now is the time to do it. And this will reduce your stress and give you a sense of accomplishment. You're clearer now in your life about your relationships. And examine who, what, where, why, and how with a deeper sense of connection and who you want to take into the future with you. And this fills you with optimism and hope. An opportunity rebounds into your life. Take a good long look before you commit. When you connect to your past here in June, this shows you how much you've grown. It's also very important to get out of the house and go outside. This will make you feel so alive and re-energized and ready to go and take on the month. I know myself, I've been inside way too much. And when I go out, I feel so much better. Now, the sun will couple with Venus, your ruling planet, on June 3rd. In Gemini, pay attention to the messages you get on that day. There could be creativity that comes through for you and creative self-expression as well. Then the next day, the North Node enters Gemini on June 4th. Now there's two points on the moon that are really important, the North Node and the South Node. The North Node represents the direction in life we're to go in, and the South Node represents where we are to travel no more. In Gemini, this is the area of your money. So Taurians are Geminis when it comes to their money and what they love and value. And you're actually getting ready for the North Node to enter your sign, and that will be in two years from now, which is very significant. And it's all about you. But now it's about what you love and value, your money, your prosperity. And that's why with Venus, she's been in reverse here. She goes direct on the 25th, yay. The universe really wants you to examine who, what, where, why, and how, what holds value for your life in relationships, as well as anything you invest your time, energy, heart, and soul into. And now the North Node is here, which is good for increasing your prosperity. Then we have the Sagittarius lunar eclipse on June 5th. Now we have three eclipses. We're in eclipse season now. Typically we have two, but nothing's typical about this year. We have three. We have one on June 5th, then one on June 21st, and then the final one will be on July 5th. This one is in the area of what other people love and value other people's money, other people's support. This is the area of money that comes to you through, say, the government, insurance payout, tax payout, inheritance payout, royalties, passive income, opposing the sun in the area of earned income, personal resources, your earning ability, your possessions, the things you love and value. Now Mars is forming a powerful T-square to both lights, the sun and the moon. So he's really energizing this full moon. He's in Pisces. Now Taurus, like Scorpio and Leo and Aquarius, are fixed signs. We don't like change unless we say, okay, I'm ready to change. <laughs> we don't like change thrown at us, such as what's been going on in the world. I'm sure nobody likes it, but especially fixed signs. We don't like it. I find it very interesting that we're in this mutable part and that Mars is in Pisces. So I think for all of us, the message is, is to be flexible. It's the key to success. So be flexible with what's happening. Be adaptable to what's being thrown at you and the changes you've needed to make. Flow with the energy. Another thing too, and I'm saying this in all 12 signs because it, it 
it's appropriate for all of us. Even if we weren't in the insane world that we're in right now with this pandemic and how it's wreaked havoc on everyone's income and business and so on, and health, because of the Pluto Jupiter, the Saturn, <laughs> the Saturn Pluto coupling together in January, February, and then Jupiter and Mars joined it in March and April. We are in a giant reset of our life, a recalibration of our life path. And when you go through something so big as this, it is about moving on to something new. And then we have all these eclipses here too, which is completions and beginnings. So for people that have been pushed out of their job, you may not be going back to that. You may be going on to something else. And even if you're doing what you've always done, like I am, you may be doing it differently. You're going to notice that in the months ahead that you're doing things differently or that you might move on to something completely different than what you've been doing. And it's appropriate because when Saturn and Pluto couple together like this, it changes everything. It is a huge game changer. And so be open to where the universe is taking you, where the opportunities are taking you at this time in your life. At the Sagittarius Eclipse, evaluate what's important to you now, what you love and value now. Stay flexible, stay adaptable, move with the energy. And listen to your intuition. It's a very intuitive month. Some of it's not going to make any logical sense because of the retrogrades, because of the eclipses. So we have to listen with our heart. We have to listen through our body. The body is the messenger. Listen to the higher self, the inner being, the soul self, as the messages come through. <laughs> oh, Mercury retrograde. Okay, so then the sun is going to be exactly challenged by Neptune on the 11th. And Mars is going to merge with Neptune on the 13th. Now, Mars is our drive in life. It's our get up and go. The sun is the giver of life. So when they're being challenged by Neptune, which is water, spirituality, Neptune pulls the energy out of whatever he touches. So if you're feeling tired, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, don't push. If you're feeling discouraged, if anyone's trying to deceive you in any way, don't take the bait. Wait. You're good at that. Step back. Because these are fast-moving planets. And by the 14th to 15th, your energy's back up again, your clarity is back up, and you're all the wiser. Then Mercury is going to take his turn to retrograde, of course, right? June 18th through July 12th. Now this is in the sign of Cancer. Now this is in the area of thinking and communication. So you are revisiting something in your mind. And it's an opportunity to complete any project that you haven't finished. And this will help to lower the stress levels that we're all feeling this year. <laughs> the year from hell. <laughs> so once we get to the middle of July, the 12th, all the planets are going to, well, the personal planets. We don't need to be concerned about the outer planets. They don't interfere with success. But when the personal planets are going to be direct, it's easier to communicate. It's easier to move things ahead. It's easier to get things done. When they reverse like this, it gives us the opportunity to reevaluate what's important to us now. Now, the Sun is going to couple with the North Node on June 19th. And this can give you profound insight into this new direction that's taking place in your life and what it is you do love and value. 
So when the sun couples with the north node, the direction life were to go in, it's like we get a window into what the next couple of years are going to be like and what is important to us, what matters to us, and what is going to be valuable to you at this time. Then the sun enters Cancer on the 20th and we have summer solstice in the northern hemisphere. Hallelujah! Winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. And remember, for those of you in the southern hemisphere, it's three months away till spring. That's how I always like to <laughs> look at when, it, when winter solstice hits here. I'm like, okay, now spring's only three months away. And then the next day we have the Cancer solar eclipse. Now this is the last eclipse in Cancer. And this is in the area of communication for you. And it is coupled with the North Node. So this is an opportunity for you to purge what no longer feeds you mentally, spiritually, emotionally, fig financially. Cancer is about what nourishes and nurtures us. And because Venus is your ruler and she's been in reverse for so long, it's also about relationships for you. Like really doing some house cleaning on who or what no longer needs to be part of your journey. Who or what no longer needs to be part of your story. And that's appropriate. Now, Mars is going to sextile Jupiter at the time of the eclipse, which is very good news. So this can be giving you tremendous energy to get things done, finish projects, feel accomplished, feel that sense of, okay, I've got this solved, I've got this fixed, I've got this resolved. I'm ready for my future. I'm ready to move into things that make me happy. <laughs> yeah! Now, this is a very intuitive month with a lot of dreamy energy here with this Mars and Neptune, Mercury retrograde, Venus retrograde. Pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to your hunches. Pay attention to your gut instinct. Pay attention to what's coming through, through your dreams through your quiet time, being outdoors, meditating, listening. There's so many days in here that are important. For instance, the, the, the eclipses, but also the solstices. Solstices and equinoxes are power days. Those are very spiritual days. They're so powerful. They shift the energy of the season. You can feel it. I mean, I literally feel the energy change from spring to summer or summer to fall on the day of the equinox and solstice because we're getting the new cosmic downloads from the universe that raise us up in vibration and frequency and moves forward our atom cells and electrons. So pay attention to what's coming through for you. And where you belong now what's true for you now, what you're ready for now. And purge and release what no longer is serving you, what no longer holds value for you. And then of course we have Happy Father's Day on the 21st. I want to give a big shout out to all the dads everywhere. God bless you. It's Father's Day here in the States, but everywhere on the planet. I just want to take this moment to celebrate the dads on the planet, everywhere. Do something amazing for you. Do something that you want to do. Get outside, even if it's winter. Go out. Do something fun for you. Do something that is just for you. Celebrate you. You deserve it. Yay! And then Venus Stations Direct on the 25th. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and the angels sang. 
oh, so happy when she moves direct and this is really good for you now you're gonna feel this Taurus when she moves forward you're gonna feel this big shift going on with you where you've done all this work on yourself you've done all this work and you're just like okay now I know who needs to be in my life and who doesn't now I know what I want in my life and what I no longer need at all and that's good news that's what it's about is really being true to you being true to what you love and value being true to your resources your time your energy your heart your soul and who deserves you and if they don't deserve you then they don't deserve you that's the truth honor that be true to you you're really going to be true to you when that north node enters Taurus because it's going to be all about you and right now it's about what you love and value so the universe wants you to get really clear with okay what do I love and value now what's true for me now because like I said when the time comes and that energy shifts and that north node goes into Taurus spotlight is on you which is exciting it's gonna be very exciting ah <sighs> I'm looking forward to that okay so Mars will enter Aries on the 27th this is good news because he rules Aries and he's gonna be in Aries for a really long time because he's gonna retrograde in this area but I'll talk about that uh, when I come back to do September for you and then Jupiter will couple with Pluto on the 30th now he coupled with Pluto on April 4th and he'll couple with Pluto again here on the 30th and then November 12th now this is a blessing and this is an opportunity for you to achieve a goal feel that sense of accomplishment for some of you are you learning a new skill are you in school are you teaching are you wanting to start your own business or move on to something new this is a blessing and this can be the universe showing you where it's appropriate for you to invest yourself whether it's learning a new skill going on to school or teaching starting a new business pay attention to the messages you're getting this month because there's so many days in here now I have a link in the show more section where you can go to my website and download all of the June astrological events so you don't have to write this down or remember it and you can print it out or read it on your screen but then you can have all of these days so that you can tune into the messages that are coming through for you you know for some of you it can also be like you're believing something new now like you have this new philosophy this new spirituality a new business idea pay attention because the universe is guiding you and directing you and having Uranus in your sign is all about living your authentic self now being true to who you are becoming now leaving the past behind if it doesn't hold value for you then on the 30th we have the final coupling of the Sun with Mercury here is another power day where there'll be messages coming through for you in the area of speaking writing teaching day-to-day -day activity communication social media you'll be getting insight on that day too as to what skills you might need to sharpen to get that new job start that new business get a promotion grow your business and so on 
Now, for those of you available for love, open for love, people are meeting online. And I think that's awesome. So why not be open to connecting with people online, see where it goes, until we can meet up physically and move it forward. I think this is a really good time to get to know people and that when we rush in with sex in the beginning, it can just ruin the relationship. So here it's an opportunity to really get to know somebody. And I think that's more important, to build a friendship first and then see where it goes. For those of you coupled, it's really important for you to feel yourself come alive and re-energized. And you can do that by going outside. Being out in nature can be so healing and strengthening for you. Do it with your partner. Go off and do something together. Or if you've been spending too much time together, go off and do your own thing. So that when you come back together, you can really appreciate each other. Career. Finish what needs to be finished so that you can move on to the new opportunities that the universe is going to present you at this time. Saturn is there at the top of the chart, testing you in this area of your career and what you do in the world. And so it is time, it's showtime, and whatever you're doing is being put to the test. And that's exciting because if you're ready and you've done the work, he can bring you unlimited success, incredible success, and achievement that lasts a lifetime. Money, your money is on the up. <laughs> it is improving this month, especially with Venus going forward. And then next month when Mercury goes forward, will definitely benefit you. So financial improvement is happening for you. Health, how is your health? I believe our wealth is in our health. The better we feel, the more we can achieve. The stronger we are physically, the less vulnerable we are going to be to the uh, virus pandemic and so on. And I have a wonderful free program called the Extreme Self-Care Audio Program and Companion Workbook my gift to you, you just go to my website, the link is below, and you sign up for my free email and you get the gift. So, our wealth is in our health. The better we feel, the better life looks. So, take good care of you, it's really important. Spiritually, this is, what a month. The universe is just yakking away here. There are so many power days in here where the universe is just going to be coming through with messages for you, for each one of you on your own unique path. Take that time to listen. Take that time because you're going to get the answers you're seeking. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me through this insane year. I really appreciate you and thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It supports the channel and it lets you know when I upload. So until next time, Taurus, finish what needs to be finished and get outdoors. You're going to come alive.